Welcome, friends, to my thoughts on Dracar Noir, an oldie but a goodie. And man, oh man, I cannot believe that in the 10 years that I've been making videos, that I've not done one on this scent. Because there were three fragrances that I wore in my younger years. Dracar Noir, Gucci Envy, and Aqua de Jo. Three rock stars at that, and in my opinion, Dracar Noir is one of the best aromatic fougere barbershop scents out there. A timeless, classic masculine built around oak moss, lavender with an undertone of leather. Oh, but that's not it. This is a complex devil with a whole laundry list of ingredients going on that make this gem what it is. Herbal, green notes of juniper, artemisia, basil, pine needle. Then you have cooling notes of mint and lemon verbena. Then we have uh, woody, earthy tones, vetiver, patchouli, cedar, and spicy notes to top this off of coriander and cardamom. And this scent, you know, with all of this herbal, green, spiciness going on, could be abrasive, could have sharp edges to it, but overall this scent is polished has this smoothness about it, like it's a well-refined, perfectly crafted scent. Dracar Noir has done me right, so right, over the years, especially when I used to wear this when I was younger. Oh man, always got such positive feedback with this scent. And you really can't go wrong with a scent that delivers like that on all points, you know. Longevity, awesome. Quality, awesome. Projection, awesome. Compliment factor, awesome. Dracar Noir is a win-win. Some people nowadays, you know, might find it a little dated, a little old school, but I don't know. I think you can still rock this stuff today for sure. And one thing about these scents like Dracar Noir, Gucci Envy, and Aqua de Jo, they take me back to before I started this whole hobby, before I started analyzing fragrances, you know? I never thought about notes. I never thought about longevity or any of that stuff. The only thing I thought about was picking something up, spraying it and smelling it and being blown away by something to me that was almost magical. You know what I mean? There was a certain innocence before all of this before uh, I knew like note breakdowns, top, part, bass notes, all of that stuff, you know, the whole innocence of just being blown away at a beautiful scent creation that somebody made. You know what I mean? And at times I definitely do miss that innocence for sure. But if you have checked out Dracar Noir, which most of you probably have, I, I would assume. Please make sure to share with me your thoughts down below on this one. As always, thanks a million for tuning in. You guys take care, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>